All right, we are going to do some entourage quick and fast. So um, basically, I'm going to show you how to make some entourage people that look similar to this guy. So if I pull this guy in and click him down there and then come in and we take a look at him here, basically you've got sort of a transparent um, outline um, that makes things a little bit easier to deal with. Um, so we're going to learn really quickly how to make one of these guys. So I'm going to delete him and I'm going to open up Rhino um, and I am going to go to zoom out a little bit. And basically this is people are familiar with on with allsilhouettes.com. So on allsilhouettes.com you can download <clears throat> these files and open them and use them um, as long as you give them uh, credit. So what I've done is I've downloaded the AI file, opened it in Rhino, and scaled it to the correct size so these people are actually close to what they would be in real life. So if you do a distance here, 60, you know, five feet-ish. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of copy off to the side the silhouette that you want. So I'm going to pick that and go copy, pick it, move it over to the side, right? And then um, I'm going to do a planar surface. I'll make a new layer. I typically do that and we'll make it a different color and I'll make it current and I'll just do planar surface and I'll window around this guy and hit enter and I've got a planar surface of that guy right okay so now I'm going to go to my perspective view and oops I got one over here I'm going to delete them and I'm going to rotate this guy 3D. So if I pick him and I go to rotate 3D and I pick my line right there and flip him up. All right. So now I've got him in 3D. Um, then I'm going to go to my top view and I'm just going to move him sort of near zero, zero, which is, would be helpful. You don't have to do this, but when you import into Revit, which is what we're going to do. It's helpful to have it close to zero, zero. You can always update it, but if it's way far away, you will be unhappy. So if I go to perspective, zoom out, this is what I've got. So I'm going to pick that guy. I'm going to go to file, export selected, and I'm going to pick the SAT file type. So in the flyout, pick the SAT file type, and I'll name this entourage, or how about e -N -E -N -T and and I'll click Save, leave it at the default, and click OK. Now I'm going to open up Revit. I'm going to go to File, New, Family, and I'm going to pick Entourage. So if you scroll down, you'll get an Entourage template. And Open. Next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go to my Insert, and I'm going to go to Load or Import CAD, and I'm going to go to File of Type, SAT, and I'm going to get that SAT. It's going to bring it in origin to origin, so it's going to match 0, 0. That's why I moved it to 0. Click Open, and if I go to my 3D view, there's that guy. The very next thing I'm going to do is go to Manage, Object Styles, <clears throat> Imported Objects. Layer 0 is what um, is the SAT file. So uh, what you want to do is rename this to Man Entourage Phone. And this is the material that it's putting on there. So I'm going to open up my material dialog box and I'm going to rename that um, material to Entourage. Entourage. And click OK. So this is important to do because it will continue to load things in on zero. Um, and you will be stuck with everything being on the same sort of layer. Um, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to file save and I'll say this is ENT and phone. Okay. Now, um, if I close my hidden windows here, control tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load them into this project, right, and place them. So if I control tab back, I go to load into project, it loads it. Now I'm going to hit escape here 
um, just because I want to show you where the guy is, right? He's in the entourage. And also, I tend to like to be in my plan one when I place things. So if I went to tile and I minimize this and I went to tile and ZA, um, and then I tend to like to be in my floor plan view when I do this. So if I scroll down to my entourage man phone, I can drag him in, place him on the first floor there, and you can see him appear. And then to control what he looks like, um, right now I think if I go to VV, I've got my entourage set to 40%. So I'm going to clear the overrides on that so we can see exactly what he looks like. So he looks, you know, a little trans, um, he's not transparent at all. So to control what he looks like, what you would do is you go to manage and you would go to your object styles and under imported objects, you would have imports and families, and you're going to see that man entourage phone and that entourage material. And if you change the entourage material, so if I go in here and use the graphics for shading and go to appearance, change that to red, and change, let's just make them transparent, and click OK, click OK, you're going to see him update, and you're going to see some transparency occurring there. So you have control over what that guy looks like. Now you can add some visibility parameters to give you different rotations, or you can just, of course, rotate that guy 90 degrees if you wanted to rotate. Um, so that's it. Um, maybe we'll do visibility parameters if somebody is interested. Okay.